Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Build Erebor. We're back here in Middle Earth. Well, it's not really Middle Earth. This is the same server in the same world where all our other previous builds are. The Kingdom, the Evil Fortress, not the Stindustry Oil Platform though, but the village is also here too. Now we're going to swoop into Erebor, into the fortress itself, and get to work today trying to finish the throne room. We won't quite get there, there's still a few things to do at the end of the episode. But we make some serious headway. Now this room is so big, you can even see the sun setting in the background because it hasn't loaded the walls at the back yet. Now last episode we created this cross-shaped room, kind of like a lollipop shape, with the cross-shaped walkways out of marble, lapis lazuli and lightstone brick. But this episode what we're doing is we're fleshing out the room itself. And I came to the corner sections here and used some lightstone brick that I'd later turn into darkstone brick because it looked a bit better. Now what we're doing with the corners here and these reverse upside down pyramids is trying to make the room look a little bit less square. At the moment it's an oblong and that's cool because most rooms are oblongs but you don't want it to look like an oblong. Now there's two ways to make it not look like an oblong. The first is to change the lighting so that you don't like the corners. If you don't like the corners of a square it doesn't feel like a square. It feels a bit more rounded and also the other is to just round the corners off it themselves with dark stone brick like I'm doing here. Now again, because this room is going to be symmetrical, as in the left is going to be the same as the right, I made a few kind of shortcuts here, and I created this pillar on the left here. I'll zoom forward in a second to show you the finished pillar design. But the plan was basically to build the framework, here you go, the framework for a pillar on the left that reaches as far as the middle of the walkway, because what I can do is I can flip it, repeat it on the other side, and I don't have to build half of the pillar. Now I went for an ornate design, kind of, it's, it's, it's just dark stone brick. There's a bit of embellishment with light stone brick. And there's some lapis lazuli here and there for that deep kind of blue hue that I really love and I really want to use a lot in this room. Now once I had that design okay in my head, I went into the center, flipped it around, used world edit to copy and paste and create a symmetrical style pillar on the other side. And once I was happy with that design, I copied the whole archway, the whole design. And pasted it all the way along the hallway at even spacing intervals. Now doing this gave me a few kind of mistakes because copying the whole pillar section meant I disrupted the middle walkway slightly. But I fixed that off camera and got the pillars in the center, the walkways back up to speed and back in the same style that we started with. Now it came over to the corner that we'd already worked on slightly, added in some lapis lazuli as decoration again, using this light stone brick step to pick out the detail slightly. And I put a cool little jewel design here as well with some more lapis lazuli on the wall as well. Now when we come back to this next episode, we're gonna be adding a lot more little bits of detail like that and trying to use a lot more lapis lazuli. And once I was happy with how I'd got the decoration on the left, copy and pasted it over on the right. And then that's pretty much the main part of the front of the throne room done. But now comes the tricky part. Now we've gone to the back of the room and this is where things get really hard because what I wanted to do was, or rather the reference images I was using, had a lot of diagonal column sections. Now diagonals in Minecraft do not go well. It's mainly an XY game because it's built with cubes and cubes that you can't turn sideways. So what I needed to do first was create three pillars at even spacings, symmetrical, on these walkways. And I did that with the standard stone brick and lit it up with some torches so you can see what I'm doing. And once those pillars were in place, I bridged between the two with some diagonal stone brick. Now what I wanted to do was create some columns reaching down from this diagonal stone brick. So doing some maths and counting the spacing between those two pillars at the walkways, I realized I had enough space for two large pillars reaching down from this diagonal column section. So 
So I fleshed those out and they're quite circular in nature. They're like circular pillars attached to these diagonal segments. And I wanted them quite thick, but I also wanted the middle column as well, the middle kind of bridge section, to reach down a bit further. So I added a few blocks on there as well, just to flesh the area out. And threw down a few torches as well, so you can see what I'm doing. Now once that was complete, I built some pillars down from those big large cylinder column sections. I wanted them to be thick at the top because that's where they're holding up the roof, but then thin out and stick with the same pattern all the way down. I threw down torches as well to light up the whole column. And then copy and pasted and repeated the design on the pillar just to the right of it. Now you might think that there's loads of lights in this room and it just looks messy. There's too much lava, too many torches, torches everywhere. But the only reason the torches are down is so that you can see what I'm doing. Next episode, I'll be taking those out for sure and modifying the mood and lighting of a room. Now I wanted the uh, the bridge sections here between the pillars to kind of arch, I wanted an archway effect. But it took me so long to get that effect, I had to go backwards and forwards, putting down blocks, deleting blocks, recreating blocks. It took me so long to get the symmetry right that I decided just to skip through that boring bit and get straight onto me copy and pasting the, the whole section to the other side of the room. Because remember this is a symmetrical room, so what I do on the left I can repeat and place down on the right with very little trouble. Then again, reaching down with those two pillars as well. And the back diagonal section is complete. Now that's pretty exciting. That, 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 that's a real kind of a real kind of key point of this room was those diagonal sections. I had to get those right. And now that I'm happy with them, I come down to these dark stone brick panel sections. Now what do I mean by panel sections? Well, these, these sections are, I would have preferred to make them three bricks, but I only had two bricks thick to work with. So I made these two brick thick panels of dark stone brick. It's basically a sheet of dark stone brick that connects the pillar and walkways to the walls. And then into that sheet, I chisel a design. And you can see me here doing a primitive kind of window slash doorway design that I think is very dwarven and represents things I've seen in certain reference images that I'm basing my build on. So we've got some long, tall doorway designs at the bottom and some shorter designs at the top. But this isn't where the sheet ends. I was going to carry the sheet on from the middle all the way to the top of the room. And in the main section of the design, the dark stone brick panel, I wanted this kind of jail bar effect. But then what I did with the jail bars is I staggered them so it was kind of like a, an incline, like, a, like an, a huge kind of jail door almost design. Adding some light so you can see what I'm doing. And then once I was happy with that design, I went up to the top and recreated those kind of small doors that you saw on the top of the lower part of the panel. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this design turned out. And again, just chiseling in those three doors with dark stone brick into the throne room of Erebor. Oh yeah, looking pretty good. And now again, because this design is symmetrical, as in this sheet is going to be on the other side of the room. I was able to just copy and paste the whole design, the whole dark stone brick sheet, over to the other side of the room with very little difficulty. Unfortunately, because the design was on the other side of the panel, on the right side of the room, when I copied it over, I had to adjust the design slightly. But that wasn't too much extra work to do. And again, I wanted these panels to connect throughout the whole room. I wanted them to bridge and reach and chase them around the back and go pillar to pillar, angularly, connecting them up with these dark stone brick panels. And so that's what I did. There's very little to say about what I'm doing right now, but it's copy and pasting these dark stone brick panels around the back of the room, going from the left pillar to the middle pillar and then from the middle pillar to the right pillar. Throwing down some torches as well so you can see what I'm doing. But when we come back next episode to this room and toy with the lights, you'll really be able to see how I'm going to pick out the detail of these panels. At the moment, because there's lights everywhere, 
they just look like flat panels behind these diagonal columns. But when we get the lighting right, they're going to look like really far-reaching, deep corners of the room. And you'll see what I mean next episode when we throw down those torches. And as we fly through Dale, and Dale itself actually could use some work, because the only lights at the moment, and we removed most of the torches, and the only, li the only lights in Dale at the moment are the street lights. So we might have to go back in there and throw down some torches inside the houses so you can see at night. But as we swoop into the throne room, you can see the columns on the left and right, the symmetrical design, and those diagonal columns, and the dark stone brick sheet panels. I've been Shin, and this has been Let's Build Erebor. We've got a lot more done with the throne room this episode, and I'm pretty pleased with it. So hit like and favorite and subscribe, and next week, hopefully, we should be completing Erebor and moving on to our next project. But until then...